Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop. Today we're going to talk about organizing Photoshop actions. Um, so there are two different ways to view your actions in the actions panel. Um, and so today I'm going to show you a couple tips for organizing in both viewing methods. Um, that'll make sense in just a minute. So if you don't have your actions panel open already, you can go to Window, Actions, and it'll pop right out. Um, you can also hit the little triangle if you have a panel over here. Um, hit the little triangle and that's your actions panel. Um, so this is the way I have mine set up. I have mine organized by folder and they are labeled with each of the action collections name. Um, there's another way to view this and that's button mode. And so to enter button mode you can hit the little menu button here in the top right hand corner and choose button mode. And this shows all of your actions that you have um, in a panel. You can make this larger if you need to, um, but it's it might look a little overwhelming for some if you're not used to it, but basically this allows you to just click an action and it automatically plays on your photo um, right after clicking, whereas in the other viewing panel you have to select the action and then hit play for it to run. Um, so I'm more familiar with the other way, I don't use button mode myself, but um, I will show you some ways to organize your actions in button mode if uh, you like using it, but it's a little overwhelming to look at all of these actions at once. Okay, so for now I'm going to turn button mode off and I will show you um, a few tips for this viewing method. Um, so again, I have mine organized by folder and you can hit the downward facing arrow to open the folder of actions and see the individual actions inside. Um, so if you like viewing this way, I, for me I feel like it's easier for me to to see all of my actions. I know which collection they're in and then I can just open that particular one and find what I want. Um, but if you want a way to organize your few favorites, you know, that might be in several different collections, you can actually make your own folder. Um, so to do that, what you'll do is you'll hit the folder button at the bottom of your actions panel and you can name it whatever you'd like. Um, in this case, I'm going to call mine favorites and then hit OK. Um, now to add an action to your new folder, you want to um, first find the one that you want. Um, so for me, if I was making a favorites panel, I would choose the actions that I that I edit with most often. Um, and so for me, the first one I usually run on my photos is from the MB Brush Pack, and it's called the Magic Brush. Um, so here, what I want to do is I'm not going to drag this action straight over to the favorites folder because I want to keep this collection intact. I don't want it to be missing an action. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to select it and drag it down over to the sheet of paper icon at the bottom of my actions panel. And this will pull up a copy of the action. Um, and so here I'll drag the copy to my new folder and you just click it and drag where you want it. And then once it's in the favorites folder, you can rename it. And in this case, I'm actually going to rename it where it came from just in case, um, you know, I ever want to just refresh my memory really quickly. Even though I created these actions, it is really easy for me to forget which one came from which set. So um, in this case, I'll just say the magic brush from MB Brush Pack. Okay, and then hit enter and it will save that name of that action. Um, so I'm not going to make this too terribly long, but basically you can do this with multiple different action collections. Another one I use really often on mine is Boathouse from One Fell Swoop. And so I can find Boathouse and again just select it and then click and drag to the sheet of paper icon and it will duplicate it. Um, and then again you want to just click and drag all the way to the bottom. I just shake my mouse a little and it tends to hurry up. Um, and then just drop it right into the favorites folder. And again, you can rename it. And I'll just say Boathouse from One Fell Swoop. Okay, so then you could continue doing this with all of the actions that you use often. Um, and then what you can do is save this folder. So just in case Photoshop ever encountered an error and closed on you, you wouldn't have to, you wouldn't want to have to make this folder all over again. Um, so what you can do is just highlight the folder name, which we named it favorites, and then hit this button again, your menu button, and hit save actions. And then there you can choose to save it somewhere on your computer safely and hit save. Okay, so in this case, I'm just gonna exit it out. Um, but basically this is how I would organize my actions in this viewing method. Now if you are using button mode, um, and again button mode is just where you can click an action and it plays automatically on your photo, I'm going to show you how to organize these a little bit. Um, now you'll notice that some of these do have, actually you might not notice, let me turn button mode off for a second. So um, I'm going to open one fell swoop and if you are familiar with my Photoshop actions, you'll, you may notice that I organize mine based on what the action does. 
Um, so in this case, one fell swoop is organized first by um, actions that adjust your image, so sharpening or contrast or brightening. Um, and then the next section is paint on actions. And so these ones are actions that when first applied to your photo, they don't show up yet. You have to grab a white brush and paint on the layer mask to get the action to show up. Um, and then, you know, there's a section for color toning actions, a section for actions that add light to the top of your picture. So basically mine are already organized, but sometimes in button mode, let me show you again. Um, sometimes in button mode, they don't fall right under the section that they should. Or if you have multiple action collections, um, there's different sections that do the same thing. So you might have a matte section here, and then you'll have another section of matte actions, you know, in another area. So, I mean, hopefully this is making sense, but basically it can get a little overwhelming in here depending on how many collections you have. Um, so what I'm gonna show you today is how to color code your actions in, um, so in viewing button mode. So I'm gonna turn button mode off to do this first. Okay, and so again, I'm going to, I'm actually gonna delete my little favorites folder here. But if I was using button mode, what I would do is I would find my favorite actions. Um, so again, I would go back to the MB brush pack, I'd find magic brush. And then what you can do is just once your, your action is highlighted like this, hit your menu um, button again, and then hit action options. And so when this button pops up, you can change the name of your action. Um, you'll notice function key. What this means is that you can assign a key on your keyboard to run this action on your photo automatically when you hit that button. Um, and so me, I actually usually have the magic brush. I recently had to reinstall these, um, but the magic brush is usually associated with the F2 key on my keyboard. That way when I open a photo, since the magic brush is one of the first things I run, I can just hit F2 on my keyboard and it'll go ahead and run that for me um, since I do it every single time, it just saves me a, a couple steps. Okay, so I mean, you don't have to change that now. It's, it's completely up to you. Um, but then the thing that I really wanna show you is color, the color option. And so choosing a color for this action is not going to change the, what the action does to your photo. Um, so it's not gonna add any color to the action itself when applied on an image. Uh, basically what this just does is it's kind of like color coding so it's just you know like when you're in school and you've got different color notebooks for each subject it's kind of like doing that here um, so for me if I wanted to choose you know my favorite actions you can just assign a color to all of those favorites um, so my favorite color is actually gray so I could choose that here um, but if I was using button mode gray would probably be associated with my black and white actions so I'm just gonna choose red it honestly doesn't matter you can change it up for yours so all my favorite actions might be red Okay, so then you're just gonna hit okay, and you won't notice any change here in this viewing method. You have, you have, sorry, you actually have to view these in button mode in order to see the color changes. So I'm just gonna do a few more um, and then show you what it looks like. So basically, um, again, I'll go to one fell swoop and I'll find boathouse and I will change that color. I'm just gonna highlight it again, hit the menu button, action options, and change the color to red. Um, now, another way to do this, again, would, like I said, if you wanted to color code everything, um, you'd be a little braver than I am, but uh, I would probably just color code my favorites, but if you wanted to, you could actually assign a color to each different type of action. Um, again, like maybe you wanted to make all of your black and white actions gray or something like that. Um, so you can find your black and white actions. Um, in this case, this is narrow expanse from One Fell Swoop. Um, I'm just gonna highlight it, and then from the action options, section again, just hit gray um, for, I mean, you can choose whatever color you like, um, but I'm gonna choose gray and then hit okay. All right, and now that I've color coded a few, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to button mode and then show you what it looks like. So here, you can make this panel bigger or you can just scroll through and you'll notice ironclad is one of the black and white actions and it's color coded gray. Um, and if you, had mul if you had changed the color of multiple black and white options, they would all show up that gray color. Um, but now if you scroll through here, you can find your favorites because they're color coded red. So there's my two uh, favorites that are red. Um, and you could, you could do this with any different type. If you have you know, favorite actions for um, adding light, you could make all of those, I don't know, yellow or you know, whatever makes sense for you. All of your matte actions maybe could be green. Um, but basically what this does is it allows you to see them quickly when viewing in here. If this looks overwhelming for you just because there's so many actions, um, color coding your favorites can just help you find them really quickly um, with just a you know, quick scroll of your button, you'll, you'll find them popped out right there for you. 
um, so um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you can shoot me an email at morgan at morganburks.com. You can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash photography. Um, and I have more free tutorials on my website at morganburks.com. So I hope you check those out. And again, if you need anything, just let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.